Welcome back to FLV. We are here with a guest. I have my daughter. She has a channel coming up on YouTube called Ken Sim. Whatever. How you say it? Ken Sims. Ken Sims. <laughs> so that'll be coming out soon. So you can follow. I'll put her Instagram tag up at the end if you want to follow her on Instagram. I don't have an Instagram game right now, so my Instagram is boring. So anyway, before we move on, what kind of music does the 20-year-olds listen to right now? Um, we listen to whatever's on TikTok, whatever's trending on that right now, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of good rap trending mm -hmm. right now, so that's always helpful, but I listen to a lot of Megan Thee Stallion, mm -hmm. Kendrick Lamar, of course, like Roddy Rich and DaBaby, they're both really big right now, so okay. I don't know, I can't speak for everyone, but that's what I like to listen to. Okay. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. That's our musical preference right now with a 20 year old musical preference what's your favorite like rapper like um, right now I guess right now my favorite rapper would have to be I think Meg Thee Stallion okay yeah it's like the it's a hot girl hot girl music in quarantine mm. <laughs> okay <laughs> all right but okay other than Meg Thee Stallion I think that I like a lot of you know, nineties rap as well. It's it's you used to be a DJ back then, so I think that you kinda raised me on a lot of that music and okay. I don't I don't know. I don't stick to only the newer stuff, but I like to listen to some of the classics for for your age. Okay, for, for the old people. Yeah. Okay, for the old people. <laughs> All right, so why are we here right now with this song? This is one of my daughter's favorite songs. So we are here to bring you our reaction to this song. Without any further ado, here we go. You clicked on it, you know what it is, so let's get into it. I am not Jasmine, I am Aladdin. So far ahead, these bumps is lagging. See me in that new thing, bumps is gagging. I'm starting to feel like a dungeon dragon. Rah, rah, like a dungeon dragon. I'm starting to feel like a dungeon dragon Look at my show footage, how these girls be spazzing So fuck I look like getting back to a has-been Alright, <laughs> the first break in the song So in the beginning, we talked about the old school rappers In the beginning, the dungeon dragon and the rah rah Like a dungeon dragon that goes back to Buster Rhymes He used to talk about rah rah like a dungeon dragon That's a little bit of his thing But this is more sound like a diss record to me Cause they said it's Roman's revenge, and you got to have some beef with somebody. Who would you rather have most on the record with you? Is Eminem. So he's yeah. the king of this. So I think this is a very good start. So we got yeah. anything on that? I think that this is also one of the not first songs, but it's really introducing one of Nicki Minaj's like alter egos, is yeah. like the character, yeah. the Roman character. So this is kind of like fleshing them out a little bit more, and I think that's cool that it's kind of like a toss back to back to the past yeah all right let's continue look at my show footage how these girls be spazzing the fuck i look like getting back to a has-been yeah i said it has been hang it up flat screen <laughs> plasma hey nigga hey nigga asthma i got the pumps it ain't got medicine i got bars sentencing i'm a bad bitch i'm a cunt and i'll kick that hoe punt and my allergies are killing me right now nicky got my allergies messing up <laughs> And I have asthma. <laughs> and she has asthma. So we got allergies and asthma and Nicki Minaj and Eminem. We need medicine. Yep. We All need right. the pumps with the medicine. <laughs> All right. So real quick, clever as Nicki Minaj's little punchlines are, and I don't have any proof that she doesn't write her rhymes, which she says she does. So if she does, she is dropping a little bit of bars here. So she talks about hang it up flat screen. And then she says plasma. Little Wayne is famous for those little witty quick punch lines. So you little Wayne Carter three. Little Wayne, he's famous for those little things. And you had Young Money, he used to drop a lot of these quick flat screen plasma like bars. So this is a little bit of homage to, to Wayne a little bit. Mm -hmm. But anyway, the the thing in here is I got pumps. Excuse me, I forgot about the asthma part. That she said I got pumps, ain't got no medicine. So if you got no medicine, ain't got no pumps, and you got asthma. Hey. And you're done. And you're done. 
But I think this is more again the, the last part about I'll kick that whole punt is Little Kim. She's definitely dissing Little Kim in that song. Yeah, sad. Yeah. Great, great rappers that are going against each other, but uh, at least a great track came out of the hate. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> So let's continue. Let's go back a little bit and let's go. Then it's then. I'm a bad bitch. I'm a cunt. And I'll kick that hoe. Punt. Force trauma. Blunt. You play the back, bitch. I'm in the front. Real quick, I forgot about <laughs> the part about the bars and sentences. Of course, oh. bars, rapping bars, lyrical bars, and sentence in prison bars. I skipped that. My bad. Oh, punt. Force trauma. Blunt. You play the back, bitch. I'm in the front. You need a job. This ain't cutting it. Nicki Minaj is who you ain't fucking with. You little brag about beat you with a paddleized. I am a movie. Camera block. You out of work. I know it's tough. But enough is enough. Mm. Yeah, that was definitely a blatant. <laughs> wow. Wow. Real quick on that one. So you know she was talking about Little Kim. In that part, and then the last part about the movie, which is a movies. What did she say about what was that? What was that uh, thing? What did she Let's say? back it up. Okay, yeah. I am a movie. I'm a cam. I'm a. I am a movie camera block. You out of work, mm -hmm. and it's tough. But enough is enough. Enough and enough was a, was a TV show on them kids, and it's definitely not on the air anymore. So you kind of can throw that a little bit into there mm -hmm. as well. But you know, at this time, and little Kim wasn't popping off at at all during this time the song was out. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's a club way to say you broke and you ain't got no job and she's trying to block nikki from the camera yeah she's, she's trying to the movie yeah <laughs> facts okay see i didn't catch that all right so let's keep going camera block you out of work i know it's tough but enough is enough like a dungeon dragon like a dungeon dragon like a dungeon dragon like a dungeon dragon I ain't no S and M, but my whips off the chain. A low drop of candy paint drips off the frame. What's the ass mine? I got a pencil for a brain and a racer for a head. Fucking pencil for a frame. You don't like? <laughs> wow. So Eminem comes out as usual, demanding respect. And if you got anybody you want to come out with on a diss track, mm -hmm. you got Marshall. So in the beginning, he comes out and into S and M. You know what that is? That's the whole sex chains and all that crap which he meant to say in the next part my whips off the chain and also whips off the chain is the car is a whip mm -hmm. and a little candy paint drips off the frame so candy whip frame blood mm -hmm. all that stuff all into witty little witty marshall mathers bars slim shady where of course is the eraser head with a pencil frame which is him back then yeah so yeah <laughs> what else can we say about that? But let's go. Brain, what's the ass mine? Got a pencil for a brain and a racer for a head. Fucking pencil for a frame. You don't like it, then pill off, bitch. Every last woman on earth I'll kill off, and I still would fuck you, slut. So wipe the smile on your grill off. I swear to God, I'll piss a happy meal off. Get the wheels turning, spin a wheel off. Yeah. It's intense. <laughs> it's intense. It's intense. If you had to put a couple of people together in the song, but somebody who has definitely animosity turn women in certain songs in Nicki Minaj mm -hmm. is a kind of a clever collaboration but you wouldn't expect it ever in a million years definitely I think that this this collaboration I don't remember much when it came out mm. but like was this kind of crazy to see Eminem on her album yeah on because this was Pink Friday yeah Pink, Pink Friday. Friday yeah so I mean she even talks about it in one of her more recent albums I don't know if it was the Pink Print or not and want some more yeah and she's like who had eminem on the first album <laughs> yeah and i mean it's good if it's a diss track i think that he really did come in it with that you know women hate but yeah. maybe more of a specific hate of a woman yeah so wow okay and back to the part of the song so swipe the smile off for your grip your grill off and he said, swear to God, I'll piss your Happy Meal off. Of course, the Happy Meal box has a smile on it. And of course, the hamburger's on a grill. Mm -hmm. Who thinks of stuff like this? Yeah. Anyway. 
Let's keep going. You slut, so wipe the smile on your grill off. I swear to God, I'll piss a happy meal off. Get the wheels turning, spin a wheel off. Snap the axle in half, bust the tie rod. Quit hollering, my God, he ain't got shit to do with it. My gums, I'll never be my gums. The world ain't finished swallowing my wad. I ain't finished blowing it. Nice bra, hope it'll fit a tough titty, bitch. Life's hard, I swear to God, life is a dumb blind white bra. With fake tits and a bad tie job. Just spit in my fucking face and call me a fucking tight wad. So finally I broke down and bought her an iPod and caught her stealing my music. So I tied her arms and legs to the bed, set up the camera and pissed twice on Look, two peas in a tripod. The more. <laughs> oh, Marshall. You're right. How does he think of this stuff? I'm gonna be able to just come up with it. It's the two peas in the. Who is it? Was that R. Kelly? Yes. <laughs> of course, it's R. Kelly. <laughs> and then Yikes. the then the part about the tightwad. I broke down and bought her an iPod, and, and, ha and earlier in the song, he's talking about a Happy Meal, which is definitely cheap. Mm. And now he's talking about being a tight wad, and finally brought her an iPod. She's in car is stealing my music. Music. Mm. So they're both cheap. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the R. Kelly will That's always true. have this anonymous thing, and he can't probably go ever, anywhere in his life. He'd be 90 years old, and they still be talking about his pee. They should be talking about a lot with them. <laughs> yeah. Surviving R. Kelly's track. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Oh, I'm next to the bed. Set up the camera. Piss twice on a look. Two peas in a tripod. The more to the story is life's treating you like dry side. Kick it back in his face. My God, a Sadie and Nicki Minaj. You might find a sight quite odd, but don't ask why, bitch. That's why no. Hey, I said it. Yep. He said it might seem quite odd. And there you go. It's quite odd. Yep. He said the more of the story is life's treating you like dry sod. Is that dirt? Yes. <laughs> dry sod. And dry sod, what happened to dry sod? It gets peed on. And he said he peed. Mm -hmm. The world's treating you like dry sod. You can't grow in dry sod. Too. Yeah, you can't dry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay. Let's keep going. I'm a Sadie and Nicki Minaj. You might find a sight quite odd, but don't ask why, bitch. That's why no. The world, world, it's my punching bag. And if I'm garbage, you're a bunch of maggots. Make that face go on, scrunch it up at me. Show me the target so I can lunge and attack it. Like a, uh, uh, like a dungeon dragon. You fell off, off. They must have bumped your wagon. You must have went off the back. I'm about to go off the deep and go to this man. You ain't you just jumped in trap. Is it the things that I get for putting you bitches on? Is it What's that? This is my favorite part of the song when she does this. Oh my gosh. This this verse. Uh, all right, we can play it, but. She so knows the song very well. It's I don't. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> Deep in coaches, is, 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 is it the thanks that I get for putting you bitches on? Is it my fault that all of you bitches gone? Should have said the thank you note, your little hoe. Now I'ma wrap your coffin with a bow. Nikki, Nick, she just mad because you took the spot. What world that bitch mad because I took. And I just want to say, like, you can clearly see her tone changes, which yeah. signifies that it's Nikki and it's her alter ego, which she likes to do in her songs, and she keeps it really interesting, and yeah. she's able to really just convey even, like, three people on this song when it's just two. Yeah. So, that's all my great addition. Wrap your coffin with a bow. Nick, Nick, Nicky, she just mad cause you took the spot. What well, that bitch mad cause I took the spot. Well, bitch, if you ain't shitting, then get off the pot. Got some niggas out in Brooklyn that'll off your top. I, 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 I hit Brooklyn, so you know where she, where little Kim is from. It ain't Queens. <laughs> well, bitch, if you ain't shitting, then get off the pot. Got some niggas out in Brooklyn that'll off your top. I, 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 I hit a mumbling, I hit a cackling, I got him scared, shook, panicking. Overseas, church, Vatican. You gotta stand still, mannequin. Okay. The stand still, mannequin, overseas, church, Vatican. The Vatican, of course, is not the United States, it's the overseas. <laughs> Very clever. You wanna sleep on me overnight? I'm the motherfucking boss, overwrite. And when I pull up, wrong motorbike. Now all my niggas get buck, overbite. I see them dusty ass be like. That's just too good. <sighs> okay, again, I told you where that little style comes from with the real quick metaphor and then another one right after it. That's a little Wayne little ism. But anyway, the, um, the room motorbike. Getting bucked overbite, buck teeth overbite. That's clever too. Mm -hmm. Oh, and um, do you think the the MF boss overwrite is that kind of like a video game thing where you're trying to like defeat the boss and you kind of have to like overwrite your save? Yeah, maybe so. That's kind of 
She's just too clever. You have to yeah. really think about it. Yeah, I don't know about that one. That's that yeah. could be. Eli Manning won a Super Bowl twice against Tom Brady. Nobody's done that, so clever. All your little faggots can suck it. No homo, but I'ma stick it to him like refrigerator magnets, and I'm crooked enough to make straight jackets bend. Yeah, look who's back again, bitch. Keep acting as if you have the same passion I have. Yeah, right, still hungry, my ass. You ass thick, had gastric bypass. Ain't hot enough to set fire to dry grass, and by the smile of his hair on eyelids. Oh, yeah. I mean, the F word's never great to use in a song, but I really like the part, and I'm crooked enough to make straight jackets bent. <laughs> yeah. And stick to it like refrigerator magnets. Yeah. Um, the gastric bypass is... Still hungry. He's still hungry because he... <laughs> I don't know what we're doing here. We'll go. Okay, yeah. We we're right here. Yeah. Um, About as violent as... As hair on eyelids, eyelash, eyelashes. Of course, the lash is violent. That's clever. I never would have thought of an eyelids, eyelids, eyelash violent. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Um, hot enough to set fire to dry grass. That's self-explanatory. Mm -hmm. All right, let's continue. A flying leap of faith off a fucking balcony for a supper falcon wing up your fly ass. You know what time it is to why ass when Sadie and Nikki's world's clashing. White trash, white trash. <laughs> <laughs> Falcon's wing is that like it's a, a bird? Is that a reference to a sport, like in, to Eli Manning or anything? I don't know anything about sports, so I, you know, I don't know. I'm just thinking of like. We well, just saying Falcon wing and fly ass because oh, fly okay. wing and so. Yeah. I don't know if he was trying to like tie into her Eli Manning thing, but mm, I don't know. I don't nah, know. I don't think so. <laughs> Of course, high class meets white trash. That's funny. Featuring Eminem, Slim Shady. How many songs they got together? Like two or three songs? Maybe two? Yeah, maybe two. I don't remember. I can't think of any others just off the top of my head. Mm. But I know that he's definitely mentioned in a few of her raps. And yeah. She's probably the same for him. Mm -hmm. Does he mention a lot of rappers? He does a lot. Okay. In his yeah, new album, he oh. mentioned almost every old school rapper in the world. Oh, okay. Plus even some of the new ones he don't like. But anyway... Okay. That was the reaction. I will leave her Instagram thing. will be right here on the screen as we talking right now. If you want to follow on Instagram, our YouTube channel will be coming up. What's your channel about? Um, so my YouTube channel is going to be about The Sims. I am a builder and I love to play on it. Um, I've been building and playing Sims, I think, since I was like eight or something like that. I would always ask for the games for Christmas, my birthday, and any time I can get my hands on them. So I've just been playing that for years, and I was thinking, why not try to turn this into a YouTube channel and share what I love to do with everyone. So look forward to that. Um, I have a few builds that I'm currently editing. It's a hard process. I don't know how you or do it all the time, but it's, it's definitely going to take some getting used to. But thanks, guys. All right. So thanks for watching again. Tell us how you like the video, leave the comments down, subscribe, hit the like button, later. Just like music.